What's going on you beauties? Thank you for joining me for another beer review. I'm back, I got a new phone. So uh, don't have to put up with the horrors of the last video I did. So without further ado, it's Beer Monster O'Clock. I completely boycotted the iPhone because uh, one of the lenses broke when I dropped it. Uh, so I've gone rogue. I've got myself a Pixel, Google Pixel. Let's see what they're all about. And uh, let me know if the quality of the video is better or worse, or just about the same, whatever. And because um, it did have a good camera on it, my other phone, to be fair, so it would be good to, if it competes with that. Um, anyway, shut up and get on with a beer review. Um, I have a beer by the Stone Bruin, who are based in California and the States. And these guys have been going for a long time, since 1996. They've been brewing this particular beer since 1997, so it's like, right, you know. These boys have been going for a long time, craft beer wise, you know, and it's just called Stone IPA. There's a few things I like about this before I even try it, but of course the taste of the beer is the most important thing. But they are, it's a pint can, a whole pint, not an American pint, a whole pint can. How cool is that? And it's 6.9% ABV. They don't care, have a pint of it. Well done. Uh, four quid it costs though, but another thing I like, it's available in Asda. Didn't have to get shipped in or anything like that. They're selling this in Asda, which is fantastic news. Never tried it, heard good things about it. Um, so yeah, let's let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'm loving the whole pint thing. That really is good news. Good step in the right direction, if you ask me. Four quid's a lot of money for one beer, but it's a big beer, a big strong beer, and it is in that four for free deal. And let's face it, you pick up four cans of this. Well, it's got to go to 12 quid, but that's going to do you, in it? There we go, look at that. That's a sexy looking beverage whenever I've seen one. There's a little close up look at the beverage. Looks absolutely fantastic. It's a beautiful golden amber colour with medium levels of carbonation, nice, dense, creamy looking head. It looks absolutely beautiful. And we've still got some left in the can. That really has made me happy until, anyway. Let's get the nose in there and check out the aroma of Stone IPA. By the way, Stone IPA is a West Coast style IPA, which tend to be quite bitter. But I like them, so I'm very excited about this beer. <coughs> Excuse me, my uh, voice is getting a bit. Check out the aromas. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can almost smell that it's going to be bitter. Um, very inviting aroma it's sort of making me nipples aroused at the prospect of trying the beer it's one of them sort of ones you know it's hoppy it's citrusy big grapefruit touch floral there is another fruit in there so i think it might be a bit of orange i don't know but it's just smells fantastic. It feels nice and fresh. Hopefully it tastes as good as it smells. Uh, yeah, most things, you know, <laughs> if they smell good, they taste good, but it's not always the case, is it? You know what I mean? Anyway, let's chuck it down the neck and see if I think it's worth a buy, because, you know, it's four quid, you know. It needs to be very good, doesn't it? Even that in some pie can, it's come all the way from America. If ever a beer warrants being four quid, because this is brewed in America as well, it ain't been given to one of the big boys to sort of brew crap and chew. It's come all the way from America, it's a pint can. If ever a beer is worth four quid, then surely it's this if it tastes good. Cheers, everybody. Bash. Whoa. Bash. The beer just went bash. <laughs> Ask me personal questions. Whoa. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. This one, don't mess about. It comes straight out of the gates and gives you a big bosh around the movie and gives you this beautiful, long lasting bitterness. This piney is resinous and it just coats your palate and says, Hello, <coughs> Hello darling. Uh, what a stunner. Um, yeah, this is this is good. This is really good. This is 
one of them beers that's worth the money. The Americans, they do make some fantastic craft beers. Apparently, this is one of the best-selling West Coast IPAs in America. And the Stone Brewery, one of the top 10 breweries as well. You know, these boys know what they're doing. It, it shows in this beer, it really does. Oh, oh yeah. I can't wipe the smile off my face. What a beautiful beer. Medium bodied. The bitterness is the real star of the show, particularly the grapefruit. There are some other subtle citrus fruits in there for me, but the grapefruit's the daddy, you know. The grapefruit's got the biggest bollocks, and it's the one you can notice and really pick at. But there's kind of like little orangey notes in here as well for me. You're still getting the malt. The, the bitterness isn't completely killing off the malt. The, there's a slight um, malty backbone to it, but it's more on the finish. The bitterness comes straight out of the start and it finishes with the malt, but it's really, really nice. Well-balanced beer. I like that the bitterness is at the start as well. You want to try a bit? Girlfriend's going to try a bit off camera. She's camera shy, but let's see what she thinks. It's very bitter, so, but you quite like bitterness, don't you? Do you approve or do you think it's nasty? What's your thoughts? Not for me. Not for her, but the face sort of said, I think it's a load of shit ad, but I think she's being polite. Um, <laughs> but you know, she, this is like, you've got to love your IPAs to enjoy this and particularly your West Coast IPAs. <clears throat> Not everybody likes it, your missus says it's crap. Maybe you'll think it's crap as well. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me or with Mrs. if you've tried this beer or perhaps you're currently drinking it as you're watching along with a review. Um, that bitterness that hits you right off the back. It dries out your mouth as well. Your mouth is as dry as a nun's naughty, but it does help push through some more flavours. Like there's a little floral hints coming through. It's just really nice. I love a bitter beer, and this has got a fantastic bitterness. Um, it's not too much, it's just big and beautiful. A bit like me. Very nice. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just great. Um, but I can't really taste much else to really, of note. It's just well balanced. I wouldn't say simple, but it's just effective what it does. It doesn't need to have too much going on, you know. I reckon that's gonna that's gonna catch up with you as well. That one, a pint can, you know, six point nine percent. It's easy to drink. It disguises the alcohol very well. What am I gonna give it? It's, it's one of the, my most favourite West Coast IPAs I've ever had. It really is. This is up there in the top five without any shadow of a doubt. Um, I would buy it again for a treat, but it's at that price and that strength. It's not sort of thing I'm gonna pick up every week. Little treat, maybe on my birthday, or maybe I've just had a tough day and I just want a few strong ones, you know. I would buy it again. I'm going to give it a 9.3 out of 10. I think it's an absolute belter. And if you're a fan of the style of West Coast IPA, it's an absolute must buy, no brainer for me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little review. Uh, and it was nice to not have all the buzzing going on and everything going wrong like happened in the last review. It is what it is though, and hopefully the quality of the phone's all right and that. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the review. Consider subscribing to the channel for more beer reviews. And hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button. It will notify you when I make a new video so you won't miss out. Uh, anyway, people, love you all. Till the next one. Bye-bye, darlings. Ah, 